All right, everybody. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Ultimate. Uh, this is the Hardcore Edition, and this is your guide to all things hardcore, Tim. And uh, what are we doing today? Today we're going to build an aqueous accumulator and a hobbyist steam engine and also probably a, uh, a barrel. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, before we can do that, we're going to need more more of our ores grinded up, so uh, here we go with our hardcore grinding session. That sounded dirty. I am sorry. Okay. In here, I have uh, yeah, I have 16 gold ore. That's good. I have some six iron dust. Go ahead and pull those out. Start cooking those. Start cooking these, and I'll finish that. I'm going to need some sand also to turn into glass. So put that in there, put those in there. What do we have in here? Uh, all right, some high speed grinding. Here we go. So we'll grab these, and we're gonna need like six sand. I'll just make up 10 or so, maybe. I don't know. Do it. <laughs> Alright, that's six. Let's, uh, let's see if that's gonna work for us. So. So all this in there, we need glass. Take it to gold. Now we're gonna need a machine frame, which is something like this, I believe. I believe so. Oh, we have two glass here. Let's uh, let's pull that over here. So there's that. Three glass, okay. Gives us a start. Now we have a machine frame. Now we need, I think this is like this. Get some redstone. That goes in the middle, and then glass. A pneumatic cylinder, I think it's called. Pneumatic servo, that's what I wanted. So that goes there, that goes there. No, need some more iron. There we go, because I need a bucket. Got a bucket. Uh, bucket goes on top. What's the rest? Type in aqua, aqueous accumulator. Uh, two more glass, 10 ingots. Oh. We need 10. We have our two more glass. We're gonna let's go ahead and grind up one more, uh, one more of these because I'm gonna need at least one more glass. We're gonna have to go down to the mine, and uh, I'll leave that there. But yeah, we need ten, so uh, we got to go down to the mine. Let's grab these, and uh, we're gonna craft some planks. We're gonna make a barrel. Which is seven, uh, yeah, seven wood blocks, not planks, and then 
a slab on top and gives us a barrel. And we're just gonna do one for now because we don't have a lot of wood. So let's get our sword at the ready. And uh, also, let's, uh, let's craft a torch or two. Just, well, I have one torch. Might as well make one more at least. Actually, this will give me four more, so whatever. There we go. We take the fast way down. Thought I heard a spider. Okay. Well, we found lava. So, uh, great. Let's uh, set up a safety rail here. What is that? That is nice. Oh, there's some more. That is wonderful. Okay. So, I'm going to save some of this dirt. Because later I'm going to extend my base area and uh, yeah, I'll just fill it in like that. There's our safety wall. Let's check on the turtle. It's waiting for fuel. Let's go over to our lava tank and uh, got a little bit of fuel. There you go, buddy. Let's set up our barrel. We'll just set it right there. Now we can only stick one one type of resource in it. And uh, since we're gonna have so much cobble, that's what we're gonna use it for. So I think we uh, right click, yeah. Right click to put items in it. And this one barrel will hold 64 stacks of 64 cobble. Very handy. Uh, later we'll probably build more and set up some kind of automatic delivery system. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and uh, clear this out a little bit more. Any ten in here? Nope. Okay. We're gonna call that good once we drop this off. And I think I'm gonna hold on to one stack of this. And let's set up a torch or two so uh, we don't get mobs spotting in the walkway area anyway. Yeah. So here we go. That's uh. 19 charcoal in here. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'll pull this out of here. Finish that. And throw the tin ore in here. Those, which is out of coal. 
No, back to King. Um, so two chunks of coal. Put our tin in there. Take our gold from here. Right. So while that's cooking, uh, take these. Let's make some gears. We need two gears. And we need them to be stone gears. Stone gears. I need two of those to make 18 gold nuggets. To surround the stone, stone gear. Now we have two gold plated gears. Uh, I believe we need Piston. And uh, I should have made some planks out of that. Here we go. Put that back in there. Put those there. A piston. So that's going to go there. These go here. These go here. And we need just a block of glass. And that'll give us a hobbyist steam engine. Wonderful. Uh, tin, any, there's our tin. So now for the aqueous accumulator, we have a water bucket, two glass cubes, a pneumatic servo, and a machine frame, and two tin ingots. And it gives us an aqueous accumulator. Uh, also, I use this glass here. I need some pipe. I don't currently have any waterproofing, but uh, anyhow, we're gonna call that good. Let's uh, let's go ahead and craft a, a box for all this chest. I mean. There's our chest. Yeah, we'll put, just put it on the ground right there. And stick that in there for now, that in there. So that. Cooking gold. Uh, let's, uh, let's set this up. So, we're going to put our aqueous accumulator here. So, we need two bucketfuls of water. Get my sword at the ready because I hear a spider. I'm sure he's ready to pounce. Oh, that's not good. Where's he at? There's nowhere to be found. Diving down. Oh, not there. Good job. Okay. Oh, stop doing that. Hi, Mr. Squiddy. Let's close it off, man. Put that there. Now we have still water. Still water. And, uh, Put that right there. So now it's gonna start filling up with water, and this will create a perpetual water source. This will always remain still water. I don't know if you've ever tried to pump water, ultimately, you'll drain the lake dry, or whatever your water source. With an aqueous accumulator, the water just keeps regenerating, and then you can 
feed it into you know whatever you need whether it's a steam engine or combustion engine you know things like that I can even you know once we have waterproofing for our tubing our pipe then we can uh, even set up a tank here and just feed it and uh, then we can start working on getting things powered um, let's go ahead and use up this basalt since I cooked it 16 of those uh, we'll go ahead and decorate a little bit out here let's eat All right, here we go. Let's uh, replace all this block here. With something a bit prettier. All right. Now, let's climb up there. And make some changes. What do I do with the last one? I don't know. All right, looks a little bit better. Uh, let's go back in here and we'll close this up. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. I think that's going to that's going to sum it up for today's episode because we need waterproofing before we can continue on. Though I could, I think I could actually set the hobbyist steam engine right on the aqueous accumulator and that would fill it up with water. But um, I think I'd rather run some piping and bring it up where I actually want, want it to be. But, uh, but to make uh, waterproof piping, I need waterproofing material, which is made from either beeswax or cactus. And right now I have neither. So uh, in the next episode, we're going to have to go on an adventure and find resources. So uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you had a good time and maybe learned something. But uh, have a great day. All right. Thanks. Bye.